And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. I'm joined as always by Jim Reno. Uh, I like all the pretty lights. You know, if you're not going to say anything new, I'm just going to stop talking to you. Seriously, dude. You're looking a little pale there, Jimmy. What you need is another drink. I don't think I've ever seen Reyna sitting down without a drink in his hand. I'm just saying. Tosh has something to say, though. What's up, Tosh? Damn, brother. You look like you could use a drink. I saw the last mission Zeratul put into the crystal. It was a look into the future. Final battle against the hybrid. I'm again. Somehow, Kerrigan's the key to preventing it. Who knows how the wheel turns? Cycles upon cycles. This much I know. Those that see the future best take heed. It's both a gift and a curse. But is it cast in stone? That's what I need to know. Who knows? I've heard you say we are who we choose to be. If that be true, the future cannot be fixed. Oh, we're getting into philosophy now? Is that what's going on? I'm just gonna watch TV. Hankering for some down home cooking out there in the space lanes? Come on down to Bubba's Gas and Grub. We got two for Tuesdays, featuring barbecue muta wings. Also, free plasma charge with each villa. Bubba's Gas and Grub, your space trucker home away from home. Awesome, muta wings. Okay, uh, let's go to the armory. I'm not exactly sure which upgrades I'm going to get. Uh, I don't think we got any credits during the uh, the prophecy missions. But Swan does have something he wants to tell us. Well, what the hell, cowboy? You look like crap. You been thinking about that girl again? Kinda. I just got some bad news about what might happen if we can't save her. Uh, no use worrying about what might happen, if you ask me. You want me to help, you just let me know. Alright. You can help us by getting something in the armory. Let's get some upgrades. I have, what did I say, 285? That's good. L why are you freezing on me? Okay, because there's a new... Yes, we can we can upgrade all this stuff. Fire suppression. Okay, so when they're on fire... Nice, they put themselves out. That's cool. That's cool. An orbital command. Very, very, very useful. Uh, once again, nothing new here. But in vehicles, there is something new. Well, there's the siege tank, of course. Oh. <gasps> Splash damage remains the same, but yeah. We get this. Oh. So good. So good. Okay, so... I'm gonna get the orbital command because orbital commands are awesome and I get them as often as I can and then we're gonna get one upgrade on the siege tank uh, I'm gonna go for the maelstrom rounds because I like maelstrom rounds I guess uh, I'm, d I'm not too concerned about hitting ourselves too much uh, let's go back to the cantina real fast and get ourselves some mercenaries with the remaining money that we have. Let's let's get the siege breakers. That sounds like a plan. And we're pretty much out of credits. Awesome. Let's go to the laboratory. And we can get that new research. After she has something quick I don't to say. You could give me a sample of your brain tissue for study purposes. No. Just just no. Nope, nothing to say there. Is this new? It looks new. Okay, I may be exceeding the boundaries of good science, but I'm sh now sure this crystal has some sort of, if not sentience, at least direction. I put a broken nanofabricator in the tank last night, and today it's fixed. And it can accomplish things it shouldn't. If I can reverse engineer this fabricator, I can do amazing things with automated repair or even near instant manufacturing of advanced AI weaponry. Possibilities are limitless. On the less upbeat end of things, the level of energy stored in the crystal's matrix has not increased at all, despite the fact that the crystal continues to grow. So it must be emitting that energy somehow, some... where? 
And this looks new. Look at that. The sample is trying to escape. I've detected several new acids in the nutrient solution over time. They will crack the tank. I wonder if Commander Rainer can post some marines down here. No, he'll want to destroy it. I haven't learned everything I can from this thing yet. Breakthrough. I dosed some tissue with concentrated sigma radiation. It slowed growth and movement severely. It would take a lot of work to safely deploy that much radiation on the battlefield, but it might be worth it. Another breakthrough, and this one scares me. I mapped my way through the DNA of some brain tissue peering back thousands of years, and I isolated the strain from which the Zerg Overmind was derived. Not enough to clone the Overmind, but I could follow this strand again inside into how it controlled the Zerg. Which brings us to our research. You have obviously reached the limit of what you can from Zerg bio samples. We would be happy to purchase any future samples you find for 10,000 know, yeah, 10,000 credits per sample. Awesome. We get 20,000 credits for what we've already done. We have the choice between the, the hive mind emulator, right? Permanently mind control units. That's from the research that I just spoke of. And a side disruptor. I'm going to go for the side disruptor. And I get an achievement for getting all the Zerg technology. Okay, now we have a choice of a science vessel or a raven. Science vessel can irradiate enemy units, repairs nearby mechanical units, and is built as and is a detector. Raven is also a detector, but it can also drop auto turrets, point defense drones, and seeker missiles. To me, this one's this one's not even close. The Raven is is so much better. I know, I know. A lot of people from StarCraft One are gonna love the science vessel, but the Raven, man, the Raven. All right, I think we're done here. Let's head to the bridge. I bet Horner has something he wants to say. He always does. You look shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead. Killed by... us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. Has it sunk in yet? We're supposed to let Kerrigan live so that her... Zerg somehow can defeat this hybrid. But we'll save that for another time. We are gonna do Haven, I believe, because I think I actually know this one. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim. I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. Yeah, I think I know this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this on. We get to we get to learn all about the Viking, which we have seen before. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from Sir. There's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. <sighs> Good 
gonna make me choose. Don't like the sounds of this. Don't like the sounds of this at all. You gotta side with the Terran refugees against the protests. as well angle the protest, but will buy Dr. Hansen more time to search for a cure. Regardless of whether she finds a cure, Dr. Hansen's efforts will lead to new breakthroughs in Zerg research, which we've already maxed out on. Side with your old allies, the Protoss, against the Terran refugees. Dr. Hansen will see this as a betrayal, but your actions will cleanse the colony of any infestation. The Protoss have also agreed to share some of their knowledge in exchange for your help. Purely for research reasons. I'm going to purify the colony. I'm so sorry, Ariel. But the Executor's right. Believe me, they wouldn't have come all the way here if their data wasn't conclusive. Call off your fleet, Solendus. This is a Terran thing. I'll handle it myself. What? This isn't right. I thought you were a better man than this, Jim. Ariel. If there was a cure, you would have found it by now. The only thing we can do is put an end to this once and for all. I won't accept that. Every one of my people can be saved. I'm close to finding the cure, I know it. Honor to you, James Raynor. You were ever a true friend of the Protoss. Although this work is painful for you, many more lives will be saved by your actions this day. To be honest, I think I've seen it the We've other way. We've all laid it on the line for these folks more than once. But there's only one way we can help them now. We've got to save the ones we can and kill the rest. I know it's terrible. But if we wipe out these infested settlements, we'll save the whole damn planet from being overrun. Ain't nothing a little fire won't cure. A lot of ground to cover, though. We ain't got enough troops to be everywhere at once. Don't worry about it. Swan's already got that covered. Yeah, I got you covered. I had to call in a few favors to get the schematics for these babies. You owe me big time, cowboy. Don't forget, these bad boys can switch between air and ground mode anytime you need them to. Those Vikings will make all the difference. But it looks like some of the infested colonists are turning already. And those structures are infesting more of them. Let's just get this done. To be honest, I think most people go for uh, helping Dr. Hansen. So, I'm going the other way with it. I don't know if I can go back and choose the other path or not. I think I can. In the if I can, I'll, I'll show that one as well. So, yes. Haven's Fall. Infestation source detected. Sir, that virophage structure is spreading the Zerg virus to the colonists. We've got to destroy all the virophages. The more of them there are, the more infested we'll have to fight. Sir, I'm detecting some large Zerg flyers. They match the reported profiles for Broodlords. Be careful. They're lethal against ground targets. Then we'll hit them from the air. Where are my Vikings at? Okay, we got three Vikings. I don't... I don't like... Just sending the three Vikings out. Um, I have a mule. Stay nice. sharp. I want anyone that leaves the ship wearing a suit. Last thing I need is more people getting infested. They infest Marines too, brother. My orders still stand. Should be a problem for you though, Tychus. Damn it! Bad news. Forgot to set the hot that to go there. Okay, so you could technically go with the three Vikings and wipe them out. I am not a fan of that. Complete. The place is already infested. There's no reason to avoid uh, avoid getting a good force together before I take that on. We do have an automated refinery, which is awesome. Complete. Because you don't need to get any uh, SUVs there, so you can save them for something else. Add on. Complete. Right. Give me one of those. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals, of course not. Where's my mule? Hurry up, mule. Almost enough time. Almost enough for another one. Fifty energy, right on the dot. There we go. Additional supply depots. Working on the supply depots. Get off my ass. Ready to blunder. All right, I'm gonna try it 
with five Vikings. I don't think there are any air units here. Okay, give me another siege tank. Alright, these guys are doing pretty good. Pretty good right now. Take out the Brood Lords. Uh, this is our first official introduction to them, but we've been seeing them for quite some time. Hey, who's got... who got hit? Okay, so... We got this guy left. Down he goes. So everybody land. We start attacking. Yes, we are under attack. I fully... Appreciate the situation, I swear. Not enough minerals. Alright, these guys have uh, regenerative plate armor, if you remember. I got that upgrade, so that should slowly regenerate over time. So I'm not too concerned about them dying. I still have all of them ready to go. What is this becoming? I don't like the looks of that. It looks huge. Oh, infested Terran. Okay, whatever. Alright, I need more Vikings. I always need more Vikings and mules and SCVs. Not enough Come on, let's Not go. There we go. Okay, uh, you hang out over here. Five there, seven. Are you seriously fussing me over, over broodlings? Get off my ass. Siege up. Just constantly making Vikings is my chief objective right now. Along with getting uh, upgrades eventually. How much does it take? Ah, 75. Okay. Let's get another one of you. And then when you turn down, you just go back there. How are you guys doing? That settlement has been cleared of Zerg biosignatures. Right. Well Let's done, sir. Fly back here. Get some repairs by an SCV who's just gonna hang out here forever, pretty much. Alright, I think I only need the the few ready to blunder. The the two tanks that should hold me over. I do need more marines though. And of course more SCVs. So yeah, my pretty much my strategy is to go mass Viking. Um, when I do have enough, and it looks like I'm getting close, uh, let me another one of those. I do need more gas. Let's just keep building those. Waiting for them to, uh, well, they're going to try to take over something, and I'm going to try, try to stop them from doing that. You go there when you're done. Need more Vikings. The infested are heading to a settlement in the south. There we go. go, go, go. As you can see, there are mutas here, but there are no hydras. So this is going to be pretty easy. I just need to make sure that my Vikings survive the uh, the attack from the mutas, which they should be able to do no problem. Um, you might need to go to the back though. There we go. Just keep going, go all the way over here. Ready to blunder. Ready to blunder. You just cycle back, and then keep going. And we're we're getting there. Just a couple more SUVs it looks like. Uh keep producing supply depots. I need an armory as well. We're not an engineering bay. Once you guys are done, just go back to the line. Need more Vikings. Okay, ready? Land! Take on everything on the ground. Uh, you want to get here before this thing finalizes, and it looks like I'm going to be able to do that no problem. Just get over here. We'd all be dead without you. Go ahead. Sir, it's 
Stedman says Dr. Hansen has locked herself in the lab. Alone. She's desperate to save her people. I'm worried about what she might do. Surely that's not foreboding at all. Job, huh? Or foreshadowing or anything like that. No, 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 no. She's going to be fine. We swear. Siege Tank is going to wreck house for the most part. For the most part, I do need to move a few of these marines up here. I need to make another medic. And of course, more Vikings. Who's. You're not doing anything. Because you're my supply depot man. Alright, I think that's good. Let's head up here. That's that's good. Let's go that way. Uh, get ship uh, weapons upgrade going as well. Let's summon down that mule. See, this is where we start getting the hydralisks. All right, let's just land because it looks like I'm going to start losing some of these guys. Might still lose them. Damn, I was not. It, I was not ready for this one, apparently. Oh, uh, down they all go. Wow. Wow. That was awful. Let's, let's get me... Let's get me a second and a third starport. Where can I build you? Let's go in the back here. That was... That was... Wow. Apparently I have no idea what I'm doing. Cause that was some of the worst uh, thing I'd ever seen. Stem! And down they go. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I pretty much got... <laughs> I'm oversaturated a bit here. Upgrade complete. Alright. Yeah. Oversaturated. Yeah. That's okay. Let's get that. Let's get that. More Vikings. That's a massive, massive amount of Vikings Sir, here. Another settlement is being infested by the Zerg. Let's get a couple Goliaths, why not? How many do I have? Do they have hydras in here? They don't have hydras in here. Okay, so I should be able to, to go soon. You guys can all lower. I thought I did this bad last time. Oh my god. Ready to blunder. Let's get into the Okay. That's just gonna have to do it for me. For now, that's just going to have to have to do it. Mineral field depleted. Uh, mineral fields are starting to get depleted. I, uh, I'm not pumping out Vikings fast enough right now. Get back, get back! Okay. There is an infested Terran in there. No Hydras, though. So, that's that's pretty much my biggest concern, are Hydra Not enough, Not enough minerals. I will probably be short on minerals for the rest of this campaign. Or this little mission. Okay. Land. Take out what you can. Uh, just don't have enough Vikings right now. Let's go. Come on. Get it before it finishes. Just in time. Oh my gosh. Let's get into the We'd all be dead without you. You ready for war? Okay. Let's just go back to base then. Uh, what can I do? Scanner sweep and mules. Get that's it. Alone. Get out of there! Don't get! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Damn it! 
One died. What am I gonna do? Huh? FCB ready. Not enough minerals. You guys just all uh, hang out out here. Me. Got way too many of you. What am I gonna do with all of you? I could get a second base, but I don't really want to do that. Upgrade complete. Let's just get more meals, I guess. Need another ship weapons upgrade. You guys are all done, really? Sweet. Okay. Let's. No, 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 no. Okay. Armed and ready. Transformation. You guys my number one. Go up here. Been waiting on you. Right, you're my number two. Let's go. All at the same time. You guys go up here and then we'll try to corner them around. We'll get it, we'll get it. All right, let's go. Stim. Stim again. Okay, now we got we now we've got some movement going. We're we're taking on the Zerg. Let's go this way. Just keep on massing Vikings. Vikings are gonna be my best friend, I swear they will. They'll they'll pay off in the end. Another settlement is coming under attack. Oh, way over here. Okay, number one lift off, number two, just keep just keep attacking. Stim again. Alright, you guys are my number one. Let's go take this on. Number two. Are you guys really focusing on that? Whatever. Let's wait for it to, to, to come out. Nope. Didn't make it. Alright. Build me more Vikings. Not enough minerals. Of course not. Stem again. How are you guys doing? You guys doing all right? All right. This sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. No, go back to to base actually. Can't hold them alone. Not enough minerals. All right, land. No, no, no. Fire, 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 fire. Okay. Now land, everybody land, everybody on the ground. Oh my gosh. Thought I had finished off the brood lord. Okay, down goes that. I haven't let him take over anything yet. I knew Raynard save us. Alright, let's go back to base. We'll regroup there. Uh, I am seriously short on minerals, but I got a ton of Vikings. Ton of Vikings. These guys are gonna just destroy for me. Vespine gas has gone uh, here, strangely enough, because that wasn't my first one. You guys can you guys can help repair. Okay, so how many do I have? I have a shit ton. I have looks like thirty two. Thirty two of them. Are we all are we all done? We're all done. So you guys are now my new number one. Let's go south. And my number two go as well. And hopefully they're not going to pull a dick move and try to try to, to take over another place while I'm doing this. Made way too many SUVs. All right, come down here. Let's let's attack from down here, from the backside, and hopefully I can pick them off. Get down. 
Okay. Go! Attack! Keep going. Some of them may die, that's okay. Let's build me a few more. Hey, that's all of them? Okay, land. Ah, Banelings are gonna get some of them. Landing. Fine, you stay in the air then. Nobody likes you. Oh, they spawned Muta, so good thing you guys stayed in the air. Totally told you to do that on purpose. Infested are closing in on a settlement to the north. Ah, oh, way across the fucking map. Ready to blunder. All right, everybody in the air. We got some flying to do. Right. Go in there somehow. And wreck house, because that's what you guys do sometimes. And I, I'm down to just this one. Uh, I thought minerals would be my downfall on this map. Stim! Alright, we're still doing okay. Uh, number one, let's, let's get over here. Yeah, they, they come armed a little bit better every time. Every time. Upgrade complete. But you, you need to take out everybody in the air before you land. You just have to. Otherwise you are screwed with by the brood lords. Right, land. Stim up then. How's that for your help? Alright, number one, take off again. Go back to base. Two, stem up. Alright, we're getting this done a little bit better than I did before, but still not, not as well as I would like it to be done. I think this is the last one. Just the infestation pit. Looks like this yep. area is secure. Keep it up, fellas. We can stop this. Alright, let's go there. Like here-ish. Alright, these guys are being repaired. It looks like that's all the minerals I'm gonna get. Let's go. Hopefully we'll meet up there at about the same time. And then, we can pretty much finish this off. I have no idea how to get that stuff down there. It's gas, though. I don't know how I'm supposed to get down there. Made for battle. Fight or flight. By the numbers, boys. Transformation system is drive. Just fly right overhead. Just keep going. Don't care about the spore crawlers. Okay, now land. Stim! And then this should be a piece of cake from here on out, right? I got a ton of Vikings here now. Inside their base. What, what could they possibly do? Spawn overlords. That's gonna help. Sure, why not? Everybody go this way. Alright, and then just these two, and I think that's it. That's the mission. Nicely done. Didn't let him take over any of the colonist places. Sir, it's done. I'm not detecting any more Zerg, but we have a problem in the lab. Yes, we do. Alright, so... Yeah, we got all of it. Nice. Uh, hard difficulty with five settlements protected. Um, I, that, I did that. 
no problem. So I got the Protoss research, which I did need. There is going to be a cutscene after this. Um, yeah, for some reason I, I recorded this before and it didn't do it. So uh, I already have the cutscene recorded, but not this, which was weird. So I went back and did this. Uh, and I didn't say it at the end of the, the, the cutscene because that was recorded before. It's going to be weird. But I am going to be doing um, Safe Haven, the, the alternate um, Haven campaign mission, I guess you could say. But unfortunately, I can't get the cutscene, so I'm just going to link that in the next video. So, yeah. Hope you guys do enjoy the cutscene that's coming up. Alright, so it's back to the lab where we are sure to get a cutscene. Probably with Dr. Hansen. So, sweet, we killed her. Awesome. That sucked. So she turned into a zerg. Ugh. And we get new mercenaries. Woo, Vikings! And that looks like it's going to do it for this part of Let's Play StarCraft 2. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.